Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and I'm back in Berlin now. I was in Prague over the weekends with my family which was amazing. Such a beautiful city. You can see some of the footage that I took in the background here. But I'm back to work on Aquilinox now. And just a quick reminder in case you haven't seen my recent videos, I'm currently waiting to be able to release the game on Steam. But because it's my first time releasing a game on Steam, the registration process can take up to 30 days. So in the meantime, I'm just trying to polish up the game as much as I can, doing lots of optimizing and balancing and general bug fixing. For most of this week, I've actually just been working on one thing, which was an optimization to do with the engine, to do with the batch rendering system. And I'm only halfway done with it at the moment, so I'll talk a lot more about it next week when it's finished. But I've been pretty much redoing the whole system to optimize how entities get rendered in the game, which should hopefully allow the game to always run nice and smoothly. Today though, I'm going to take a bit of a break from the batch rendering system and work on some more general bug fixes and improvements, so that I actually have something to show you in this video. So getting started today with some work on the status icons, and these are icons that can be shown above an entity's head to show some sort of status about it. So for example, when you selectively breed an animal or plants, this icon gets shown above its head so that you know which one you're selectively breeding. Also, as you saw last week, when an animal has a disease, it has a disease icon above its head. And also when you're evolving a new species, a progress bar is shown above the entity. So firstly, I wanted to make sure that these icons stack properly if more than one is shown. And secondly, there was a bit of a bug with the height of the icon when an entity is growing. So if the icon was displayed when the entity was very young, the entity would then grow, but the icon would stay in its original place. And that would often lead to the icon being hidden inside the entity. So I've made some changes to that so that the icon gets notified when the entity changes size. And you can see that the icon height now changes as the entity grows. Next up today, I've been doing a bit of work on corrupt save files. So very occasionally, a save file for one of the worlds in the game may become corrupt. This could happen, for example, if you went into the file and edited it yourself, or perhaps there could be an unexpected bug while saving the game. Obviously, ideally, this won't happen at all, but in the worst case scenario that it does happen, then at the moment the game just crashes every time that you try to launch it, and you won't actually be able to play the game again until you go into the save files and delete the corrupted file. So I've just been trying to make the game handle these corrupted files a little bit better, and you can see here I've got the save file for World 3. So I'm just going to corrupt this by deleting all of the data in it, and I'll go ahead and save that. So now if I go ahead and run the game, you can see that it does launch, it doesn't crash, um, it can now handle that corrupt file. And if I go to the list of save files, you can see that it's noticed that this is a corrupt file. It notifies the user, and you can just go ahead and delete that file. But most importantly, the game didn't crash. Just been searching for a few more animal sound effects for the game, and as you can hear, I just found some nice ones for the goats. One o'clock now, just finishing off the morning and um, just made myself a quick lunch. And the last thing that I was working on this morning was some animal movements. I've been trying to fix any final tiny little glitches to do with their movements. And I was mostly concentrating on the bird movement, specifically how they land on branches. And I was also doing a similar thing with the squirrels and the way that they jump into trees. Anyway, I'm going to have my lunch now, and then I'm also going to plant a few more vegetables on the balcony. I'm planting a few things every week so that in a month or so I'll have a constant supply of vegetables to harvest. So getting back to work this afternoon, and I just wanted to do a quick bit of work on some more designs for the website, mostly concentrating on the landing page for Aquilinox which is obviously the most important page of the website. And I had actually done some designs for this before, but I wasn't completely happy with them. So I just wanted to try out a few different designs and see if I could get anything that looks a bit better. And um, I'm hoping that the website should be completely finished by the end of next week, because I really need to get it up and running soon so that I can start doing some actual proper marketing, because there's not too much I can do before I have a website that I can direct people to. 10 to 4 now, just been fixing another bug, and this one was something that I noticed last week when I was doing the editing for the video, 
and that is that the background sound effects that you can hear, the birds and the insects, they continue to play even when you switch worlds, so you can still hear the jungle sounds from the previous world. So I've just been doing a bit of work in the audio code trying to fix this, and you can see that now when you bring up the main menu, the background sound effects fade out, and then obviously when you load up a new world, you no longer have the problem with the sound effects from the previous world playing. Sticking with the audio theme this afternoon and doing a bit of work on the placement sounds for animals. So when you place an animal into the world, you can hear that it makes a sound effect, but a lot of the animals are currently using the wrong sound effect, as you can hear, because the sheep sound was the placeholder sound effect when I created all of these species. So I've just been going through all of the species files for all of the animals and making sure that they now use the correct sound effect when they're placed. So I'm just going to stop and have a bit of a break now because it is a lovely day today. I think it's the hottest day of the year so far. So I'm just going to cycle down to the river quickly to meet some friends and enjoy the sun for a bit. Back to work this evening now, and I'm doing a bit of work to do with the edges of the world at the moment, which is something that I never really sorted out. Um, I've tried quite a few different styles for the edges, I had them fading out, I had them disintegrating into triangles at one point, um, I also tried having the whole world as a giant floating island, but I always had some sort of problem with each of those styles, so um, it's still something that I need to sort out. But whichever style that I go for, I need to make sure that no strange things happen at the edges of the world, like this. Um, because at the moment there are quite a few problems that occur with the animal's behaviour when you place animals or plants near the edges of the world and sometimes the game even crashes. So I've just been trying to make sure um, that this doesn't happen anymore. Just finishing off for the evening now, not really any more development to show you. Um, I've just been going through a few of my emails trying to catch up a bit because I'm so behind at the moment. And also answering a few comments and planning out this video that you're currently watching but I'm going to stop for the evening now. So that is pretty much going to be it for this week unfortunately. Today I'm going to be doing editing for this video and then once I finish that I'm going to be getting straight back to work on the batch rendering system. Um, but yeah, sorry that there wasn't a huge amount to show you again this week. It's a little bit trickier at this stage of development to find interesting stuff to show in these videos. Um, it's not like a few months ago when I was adding lots of new features into the game. But I have got a few different types of videos planned um, that are coming up soon. For example, I'm going to do a gameplay video for Equinox before release, and I'll also probably do a Q&A video and a couple of other things. But for this week, that is going to be it. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.